just got back. I was gonna wait till inside the wheel to go ahead and do this, but everybody listen. I couldn't wait, man. And this is not a video about me and the Reapers and all that. It's not a video about me as a player, the Reapers. This is a video about me calling out all the bums Taking over and the all the losers right and now. all the complainers Chris's in this league. Getting water right now. We seen y'all all in that Chris G chat talking all trash and this league sucks and go ahead and bring it down and all that. Stuff. And I just say there's one team in this league that I hate playing the most. Everybody knows it. It's no secret. I tell everybody. It's no secret. I hate playing the Ravens, bro. Wonku and Herb, y'all pissing me off every uh -huh. single time. Wonku, especially, she be pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a joke, guys. I have I so like much more respect for Wonku than I do half of y'all in this league. So much more respect for Herb than half of y'all in this league, bro. Because whenever Herb loses Tekken, and it's not often, but whenever Herb loses Tekken, he just takes it on his chin, bro. Herb's going to say it was... It was my fault. Wonku will say, "Oh, professional it was hater." My fault. When nothing. she makes a coaching decision, when she loses CTR no. or Val, yeah, she'll be upset, whatever. But she'll just take it, bro. Half of y'all not about that. Instead, he's he's not even a hater, bro. I got a big. I gotta say a real big shout out to Cat for saying that because he understands and he knows the way this league is and he knows how people how weak-minded a lot of these people in this league are who, like, love to make excuses for games and situations that's basically handed to them. This is the only esports league where you can come in not knowing how to play any of these games, come in, be better than some of these people in a week, and make money by doing it. Win, lose, or draw, or stinking the place up. And you can sign up for free. Literally for free. website. Literally for free. You'll see the picture with the, the kid with the orange hair. Exactly. Yeah. Hold up. Y'all would just rather... It yeah, must have spitting. been these rules, man. He's spitting. He's talking about Chris G, too. taking responsibility yeah, and saying, I lost, you'll just, nah, these rules That's suck. Mm -hmm. That's exactly none what that, it is. None of that. What you mean, none of that? That's none exactly that. what none it that. is. Y'all need an excuse for why you lost, so you turn around and you blame the rules. So you turn around and you blame the league. Because you never could have lost that game, right? Come on, bro. It must be these setups. It must be these monitors. It must be these PCs. You know, my setup at home is 10 times better than this. Hey, bro, go play at home now. Exactly. exactly. Evo is so much better than this. Hey, Evo doesn't do it like this. Overwatch League doesn't do it like this. CDL doesn't do it like this. Go play in those leagues now. Go play at Evo if it's so much better, bro. If y'all want to watch Evo so bad, if y'all want to play in these leagues so bad, then why are you here? Why are you coming to the UEL day in, day out if it's so terrible? If it's so unwatchable and these rules are so bad, why do y'all keep showing up? And I'll answer it for you. It's because this is the only league that y'all can make it in, bro. And that's not a bad thing because that's what the UEL represents. And so when y'all complain about these rules and when y'all complain about whatever the games are, that's when I really know y'all don't understand what the UEL represents, bro. The UEL represents the place for the average gamer to come in and get paid. The average gamer, someone like me, has a chance to beat Chris G. Has a chance to beat Legendary Pred. Has a chance to beat Marty McFly. I can beat Cool Six in the UEL. I can beat Blue in the UEL. That's what the UEL represents, bro. It's for someone like me, who only played on the Xbox my whole life, who only played on a delayed TV my entire life, I can come into this place and win three championships and get MVPs and get thousands and thousands of dollars and have an opportunity to actually do something. That's what the UEL represents, bro. The UEL is made for you. The UEL is made... For all the people that are complaining, this is the only league you have a chance in, bro. Yes, yes. Y'all want to complain about StarCraft being infinite build. Go play in StarCraft uh, competitions now. You can't. 
No, go play yeah, at Evo and nice. go win yeah, the money let, you're making let, here let, at Evo. It'll never happen, bro. You will never see any of these people go. And maybe one or two, bro. Maybe Herb can go back to Evo and win some tech and stuff, bro. That's it. That's it, bro. But the rest of y'all, is it doesn't make sense. You're complaining about the one place you have a chance to make it. These rules are catered to you. This league is catered to you. But y'all don't understand. I will cut it off. That's fine. Hey, as subscribe. far as Chris G, I understand it. It's his first game coming out and playing. I can't be mad at Chris. He's Literally. coming from a Literally. place where he. And we don't even have. We don't even have guy, like pools or nothing like that. It's like you just straight up. You can just show up and you can just play. Like a rookie. You can just show up and play. That's all you gotta worry about. No, you gotta do it He's gonna That's have it. things he doesn't like. We all so have had things now. that we don't like. A hundred percent. And people always wonder why it's the Reapers and New Moon. Every time in a championship. And they want to say, well, it must be the players. It must be the coaching. Uh, yeah, all those things are good. Like, we have great players on the Reapers. New Moon, of course, had the best players. But 